joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in ah, Europe's Premier sister. Club competition, the UEFA Schöne Champions League. Sisters. The group stage, match day one action. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on okay, Real Madrid. Top on that, top yeah, the long that. road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that you win your home games and don't lose your away games. You've got a good chance of progressing. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod and goal. Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. And the starting yes, player is for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Aidan Azar starts with Vinicius Junior in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Now, sadly, from their point of view, it petered out. Marcelo, good-looking sequence. And Benzema in the middle. And cleared away. Azar, the Belgian, getting forward. But what's he going to do now? He has plenty of support. Had to come up with the ball and did a player who you have to describe as a match winner in waiting Mark an incisive pass mm, upset the offside flag had to go up and it did yeah look along the line look along the line and he was in the right place to intercept Well, Lee Dixon, there's no getting away from the fact that Real Madrid are Champions League royalty. Absolutely, Derek. There's certain clubs around the world, Barcelona, Manchester United, teams like that with huge histories. And Real Madrid are right up there. They've won everything. Passing it around with a plomb. Into the centre by Azar. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Danger averted. possession here plenty of running room in the wide position Benzema Azar ready to take it on into the advanced position goes Modric well it's a poor tackle well the moment mix, he would mix. dearly love to have back well, listen, he tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Here's Carvajal. Modric. Giving them the gift of possession. Alcacer might be a chance here. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Moxley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. Based on recent seasons, Lee, you would think Real Madrid would expect to be going all the way to the final, but they never seem to take the group stage for granted. No, they don't, Derek. You've got to go through this group stage in order to get to the latter stage of the competition and then win it. They expect to win it. That's the sort of football. Christon Ball. They've regained possession. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? It comes to nothing. And Witzel with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. And he could cash in. Paco Alcacer! It could be up for grabs. Given away by Real Madrid. Aidan Azar. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two. He's in with a chance. The opening goal of the game doesn't fall for Real Madrid. Not yet, anyway. Well, his finishing has to be better than that. The opening goal it's was begging. Ah, uh, Hampton. 
And the first half is in the history books. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. This is Kroos. Azar on the ball. Into the centre by Azar. Danger averted for now. Torgan Azar. Looking confident with the ball in his feet. And the cross into the middle. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Marco Reus, a player we talk about a lot on the big occasion. But Lee, has this been a bit of a below-par display from him? Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him up. Needs more movement. He's got plenty of space on the flank here. Now Casemiro. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Marcelo. And Perkia hits himself superbly. <laughs> and they've gone for the short corner. Well, body in the way. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Casemiro, Marcelo, Benzema, and the block by Huos. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. And given away by Dortmund. Casemiro, Modric, good vision, can he get onto this? And clears his lines, well he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close, it was close, but that's all it needs to be, close, he was offside. Nico Schulz. Well he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction, and it was so close. Modric. Casemiro. This is Kroos. That's a lovely ball. Vinicius Jr. And Benzema in the middle. Danger averted. Here's Ramos. Marcelo. Casemiro. Modric. Vinicius Jr. Benzema waiting. Clattered away. Time is running out for Dortmund. Can the players respond? Wonderfully weighted pass. He's in position. Surely. Oh, a vital interception. Modric. This could be an interesting avenue. Marco Reus, delightful pass, good looking sequence, Modric, here's Carvajal, Karim Benzema, Marco Reus, and green space aplenty for Dortmund to run into, and a cross that will live long in the memory, goal kick. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Benzema. Azar. Karim Benzema. A real opening now. It's got to be. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. We have entered the final minute of normal time. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And the final whistle is sounded. Borussia Dortmund really wanted to win this game to get off to a flyer, but 